Hello everybody! In this video, we are going to show how to use the Google Drive connector for creating folders and writing Google documents using templates. As a prerequisite, we need a Google account and a Google authentication token. As for the Google account, in case you don't have one, just go to this page. Click on the Create Account button and follow the procedure. As for the authentication, Google Drive Connector currently supports two methods for authentication and authorization, based on short-lived JWT bearer token and based on refresh token. You can check Camunda documentation and follow the suggested links in order to get a token. Once you get it, you can save it as a secret on your Camunda cluster. Now open your cluster, go to your Connector Secrets page and create a new secret. Let's call it Drive Token and paste the token into the value text box. Now that the prerequisites are fulfilled, we can concentrate on our use case. We will use the Google Drive connector to create a folder and create a file over there using a template. But let's go step by step. We concentrate on the folder creation first. We open the modeler and we create this process. We click on the wrench icon and we look for Google Drive Outbound Connector. Now we can configure it. As for the authentication, we can use Bearer Token and we can use the token we just inserted as a secret with this syntax. In the Select Operation field, we can use Create Folder. In the Operation Details section, we can pass the information of our folder, like the name and optionally apparent folder ID. It's also possible to pass folder metadata, like the folder description, for example. In the result variable, we can store the result of the connector execution. That's it. We can now deploy and run the process. If we switch to the Camunda Operate tool, we can have a look at our process instance. It's completed with success. The result variable contains the response of the connector. When successful, it will contain the information of the created folder. This is composed by two fields, the Google Drive resource ID, that is the ID of the folder, and the URL to access it. Since as a next step, we want to create a file in this folder, we can store the resource ID into a variable for later use. We can achieve this just by setting the property result expression with this value. Folder ID here is the name of the variable. Let's check now the Google Drive where we see our folder created. We can now implement the Google document creation with the Google Drive connector. We need to define a template for our use case. We want to create a document for approving an application. We create a Google Doc and then we paste this content. Between double curly braces, the placeholders that will be replaced at runtime with process variables by our connector. Let's take note of the ID of the document because we need it for configuring the connector. We call it template ID. Let's go back to the process and add a new task of type Google Drive Outbound Connector to the process. Let's configure the newly introduced connector. As for the authentication, we can just copy the other task configuration. It's the same. In the Select Operation field, we choose Create File from Template. The file name can be dynamic and change depending on the request identifier that we will pass as a process variable at the startup. In the template ID, let's just paste the value we retrieved previously. Parent folder is the folder where we write the document to. We can use the variable folder ID for that. In the template variables, we can indicate how to replace the pre-solders in the template with the actual values taken from the process variables. This has to be submitted as a JSON. Here you are an example of this JSON. As you notice, we can use the field expression language here, integrated in Camunda 8. For example, we can use the temporal function today to define the application approval date. The rest of the content will be process variables. That's it. Our process is ready to deploy. We can start it passing the variables required by the template, which are the following. 
we can check in Camunda Operate, we can see that the process instance has completed nicely. Now let's switch to Google Drive, where we can see that the folder now contains a new Google Doc called Application Approval 1, and the content has been populated correctly. That's it. Now it's your turn to play with the Google Drive connector.